Hey babes, welcome back to our channel or welcome if you are new here. Today's video is going to be a very impromptu video. I wasn't planning on filming, but I just went to Trader Joe's and I got like the staples and necessities for my diet, which I don't really follow a diet, but I do get quite a few DMs on Instagram every single week. I feel like about my diet and what I'm eating to stay healthy, especially when I do post like a gym pic or something. People always ask like, what's your diet? What do you eat? So I figured I might as well just show you guys my grocery staples and meal ideas, snack ideas. I feel like this is such old school YouTube to film like a Trader Joe's haul, <laughs> but I'm here for it and I love Trader Joe's. I never will stop loving Trader Joe's. Like, I'm a hoe for Trader Joe's. Like, <laughs> and I never will stop. Ho life for life, only for Trader Joe's. Oh my God, I'm so annoying. Okay, so let's just get into it because I need, do need to put these groceries away. They've been kind of sitting here for a second because I was trying to clear my memory card and everything. Um, so the first thing I picked up is this organic Caesar salad kit. Not much to say about it. Self-explanatory, who doesn't love a good Caesar salad? Um, I usually put grilled chicken in it. I do want you guys to know that I do not eat super healthy all of the time whatsoever i still indulge but i have been taking like five almost six weeks off of the gym so i really did have to fine tune my diet and make sure that i was not overindulging. which i can be a little bit more lenient when i am working out but since i had to take those five six weeks off due to my injury from my car accident if you missed it i did fracture my sternum in a car accident that has been awful but I'm feeling so much better and I actually just had a chiropractor appointment this morning and they gave me such a nice massage so I'm feeling ready to go and yes but I had to take a while off of working out and training so it's all about your diet your diet is the most important thing um, another dinner idea is these salmon pinwheels these are the barbecue salmon um, pinwheels and they have spinach Mediterranean style herb feta cheese wrapped in salmon these are so good you guys I put these in the air fryer and they're seriously delicious and it feels like you are a gourmet chef cooking a very fancy dinner but trader joe's just did all the work for you and the way that the air fryer cooks salmon is just the best don't cook your salmon any other way i'm telling you you need to cook your chicken and your salmon in your air fryer only it makes it so much better the next thing i got oh, is these veggie fries when i go out to eat i have to have french fries whether it's an appetizer or with my meal french fries have to be on my plate like i don't know what it is about french fries i don't know if i'm just a child and i never will grow up but french fries are like my favorite guilty pleasure and so these are a little bit of a healthier option these are the root vegetable fries which have roasted sweet potatoes carrots beets and parsnip these are the egg witch breadless breakfast sandwiches so uh, there's turkey sausage american cheese and two egg patties these are like a low carb easy fast breakfast and if you are doing keto or something like that or low carb these are so good for that i usually take out the turkey sausage because i'm not a sausage person and i'll usually like put a piece of toast with butter and then put like the egg with the cheese just on toast and it's just a very quick easy breakfast if you have busy mornings and you don't have time to cook you know an extravagant breakfast that's perfect and then these are my favorite desserts you guys if you have never tried these you absolutely need to get them i can't believe i waited so long to try them but they're the absolute best and these are the dark chocolate covered banana slices um you have to be careful with these because you can easily overindulge i could easily eat this whole box to be honest with you even if you did eat this whole thing, which could easily happen, it's only 500 calories for the entire thing, and there's a lot in here. So it's not the worst thing. This is definitely a healthier alternative to, you know, ice cream or something else. I'm just going to put these away real quick so they don't get nasty. Next, these are a snack that I like, or I put these in my smoothies, just like half of these. I try not to eat the entire container of these because it is high in sugar so you have to be careful um, but these are the greek yogurt with honey and these are delicious i've talked about these before also a really good quick breakfast if you just want to put like some sliced strawberries and granola in one of these super easy healthy and delicious 
Also got some fresh pineapple. Love pineapple. I got some Mexican shredded cheese because cheese is life. I got some organic chicken breast tenders for that salad. And these have been an obsession of mine lately. And you guys need to pick these up next time you're at Trader Joe's. These are the chicken cilantro mini wontons. So I throw these in the air fryer. And then I use this sauce. Get it from the fridge real quick. This is the Trader Joe's sweet chili sauce, and this is such a good combo, such a delicious snack, or honestly, could be a meal if you're not that hungry. But usually for me, it's a snack. Um, but you guys are gonna die at these macros. So five or four of these um, wontons is only 50 calories. 50 calories, nine grams of carbs three grams of protein and only 0.5 grams of fat. So these are such low calorie and honestly delicious. And I'll usually have eight, which is 100 calories. And then I do have this sauce to go with it, which does add a little bit of calories, but not bad. So I've been obsessed with that lately. Just got some frozen berries to put in my smoothies and got some country potatoes it also has mushrooms in it which i love mushrooms so i figured this would just be nice i am such a frozen veggie kind of girl if i can just throw it in the microwave and heat it up and have it be ready to serve within a few minutes that's perfect because i'm usually only cooking for myself so i really don't feel the need to spend all this time cooking these extravagant meals and i'm a very lazy cooker you don't know that already if you're new here then you don't know that but I am definitely like a lazy girl when it comes to cooking. And this is another example of that. These are just carrot coins, colorful carrot coins. I've actually tried these already and I do like them. I actually really like carrots. It's one of my favorite vegetables. So these are really good, really easy. Like I said, I'm all about easy. This is not healthy at all. Trader Joe's white bread, but it's so good. I just feel like white bread is is the best. I try to eat like the one with seeds and sprouts and all that stuff, but it just it just doesn't excite me. And I'm just a white bread girl. So there's only a 70 calories in one slice, so it's not bad. Then I got the best chips ever. Also not the healthiest, but better than like regular potato chips, I guess. These are gluten-free as well. So these are the organic blue corn tortilla chips. And I got this salsa, which I have yet to try to go with it. This is the island salsa. So this sounded so good and refreshing. It has mangoes, pineapples, and red jalapeno peppers. So I'm really excited to try this. I feel like it's going to be delish. I got some green tea because having green tea is actually really beneficial and it really does help with like digestion and keeping your body right. I swear it helps me stay deep bloated and I don't know, I just really, really like the effects of green tea, but I do not like the taste. I think it's disgusting, but it's worth it for the benefits. I got some of my favorite protein bars. These are the best, you guys. These are the Barbells protein bars. I got the cookies and cream flavor, which is probably my favorite. Then I got a caramel cashew and this is a plant-based one, it's the hazelnut and nougat. Yeah, I'm excited to try that. Love that it's plant-based. Also, these are always great to have to snack on. It's a really healthy, quick snack and so tasty. I feel like I'll never get sick of these little oranges. I got another everything but the bagel seasoning because I ran out. I got my favorite kombucha. This is the strawberry lemonade flavor the synergy brand abby and i have talked about this and it's so good i'm gonna have some right now kombucha is also really good for digestion it has probiotics and all that good stuff let me see if it says like what it does for you i don't know it has nine billion living probiotics though so that's really good and this flavor is delicious mm. i feel like it also helps if you are a soda drinker 
or if you like things with carbonation, that is really good to have so you don't drink soda. I got some avocados because you guys, oh my gosh, I have to show you this. This has been my new obsession. Avocado toast with this um, Trader Joe's organic spicy honey sauce. Seriously, just, just go. Go to Trader Joe's, get the spicy honey, and put it on your avocado toast. You will not be disappointed. I've also put this on my salmon. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. And I usually don't like spicy things. It's not that spicy. So if you are sensitive to spice, don't worry. It's really, really not that spicy. These are my favorite pickles to snack on. These are just the dickles. <laughs> Dickle. <laughs> the dill pickle spears. <laughs> wow, my brain just I had a brain fart right there. This body butter I saw on TikTok, so of course I had to buy it. It's the coconut body butter made with like coconut oil, vitamin E, and shea butter. I want to smell it because I love coconut and I just ran out of my other body butter, which I really liked. It was the Josie Moran Pro Retinol body butter from Sephora, which is very expensive. So I didn't want to repurchase it. It was nice while it lasted, but I just don't think I'm going to repurchase it, even though it was really good. But this sounded really nice. Ooh, and that smells really good. That consistency, wow. Hopefully I like this because it's way cheaper than the Josie Moran body butter. But this is really thick. I'm actually surprised. And I do like that this like opens up like this so you don't have to twist it. It's a lot easier. Trader Joe's just has the best stuff, I swear. And then I just got some tuna. This is the solid white low sodium tuna. This is the tuna that I usually eat, which is not the tastiest, but high in protein, low calories, and it gets the job done. So that is everything I picked up from Trader Joe's. I'm going to put this away. I feel like I need to give you guys an update on my lip filler because I did get it dissolved and a lot of you guys were curious about that. So I'm going to give you guys an update on that after I put these away. So I just want to tell you guys about my experience with getting my lip filler dissolved and my action plan, I guess, moving forward. So I did get them dissolved on March 1st. It is now March 9th. And first things first... <laughs> I honestly don't really mind getting Botox and fillers. I feel like it's not that painful. It's obviously not anything that I enjoy or it doesn't feel good, but it doesn't really hurt for me. I have like a pretty decent pain tolerance, but let me tell you guys, getting your lip filler dissolved is extremely painful. Like extremely painful. She numbed me for 20 minutes and I still feel like it did absolutely nothing. And unfortunately, I have to go back on Tuesday to get the rest dissolved because I don't think she got it all out. And so I have to go back to get more dissolved and I am not excited about it, but it has to be done. And I'm honestly already feeling better about the shape of my lips just from that one dissolving session. Um, I still do have like a couple of little like filler pockets on the inside of my lip that I wanna get rid of. But I didn't have her dissolve my bottom lip, by the way, because I figured I like my bottom lip. I feel like it didn't really need to be dissolved because if I get it refilled, like, what's the point of doing that um, if I like it? So it was my top lip that I didn't like. Um, it was very uneven, and yeah, I just started to migrate. So I'm going to be getting the rest dissolved on the 15th, and then I'm probably going to wait to get them refilled until, like, maybe mid-April. And I'm just gonna do a little bit in my top lip. I don't wanna have big crazy lips. I feel like I know they're going like out of style, but for me, the main reason I like having lip filler is to cover my gummy smile. And I know that I could get Botox, and I've tried that multiple times, but then it just like, it doesn't last. It sometimes can make your nose like scrunch up funny, and then sometimes it makes your smile weird. I don't know, I just don't really like it. So I feel like having lip filler and having a bigger top lip does help cover my gums when I smile. Because I have a huge overbite, you guys. Like, I needed jaw surgery when I was a teenager, but 
I refused. Um, if you guys literally look at this, you guys can't even see my bottom teeth when my mouth is closed. Like, <laughs> it's an extreme overbite. So, yeah, I need lip filler on my top lip or else I'm just super insecure about my gums and it sucks. But, yeah. So, that's a little update. I know it's not very exciting, but... I feel like everyone on TikTok is going through a phase where they're getting their lips dissolved, they're getting their eyelash extensions off, they're cutting their hair, and I'm honestly here for that. I am actually doing my own eyelash extensions from now on. I'm not going to be getting them redone because I feel like I just should not be spending that amount of money on lashes. I feel like it's just outrageous because I'm a picker. Like, I'm a bad picker, so I have to go every single week to get a fill. So, it's like $80, $90 a week to get eyelash extensions, which really does add up. And I'm trying to be a little bit smarter with my money. But, yeah. So, I'm done with eyelash extensions. Maybe in the summer I'll get them back on if I feel like I don't do them well enough on myself. But I ordered some stuff to do them myself and I'll have to keep you guys posted on that. I'm gonna shut up and go to the gym now. I feel like I'm just going to end this video here. I know it was kind of stupid and boring and lame and quick, but it's still something and I just wanted to share with you guys my grocery staples because I do get asked that quite often. So I hope you guys enjoyed even though I know it was very short, but Abby and I will be filming a couple videos this weekend and I feel bad because I know that our channel has been a lot of hauls lately and we were joking about changing our YouTube name to McKnight Hauls <laughs> because I feel like that's all we do is hauls but we know that you guys also want to see more lifestyle content and vlogs so I need to get back on that and I plan to but for now just be prepared for all the hauls because we made a huge skims order I made a huge Shein order because I feel like I'm always getting asked to do Shein hauls and I started looking at their bikinis and I just went crazy. So I want to do a Shein haul, we want to do an Amazon haul, and a Skims haul like I said, and we're also working with White Fox Boutique again, so we're doing another White Fox haul. So that's four hauls. And then there's a Sephora sale coming up on April 1st, so we'll probably do a Sephora haul as well. Um, yeah, just, just get ready for the hauls. And if you don't like hauls, I'm really sorry because that's going to be a lot of our content over the next month. Other than that, that's all I have to say. I hope you guys are having a great day or night whenever you're watching this. And make sure to like this video to show our channel some support. And I will see you guys very soon in our next one. And I love you guys so much. XOXO.